All right. Well, thank you all so much uh, for being here today. Uh, it really is. This really is a, a, a big, big occasion uh, for the Kane Center for the Arts project. Uh, but you know, so much more than that. It's a it's a big impact and a big occasion for you know for Cornelius, for the Lake Norman region, for all the towns that make up the Lake Norman region. Really, for Mecklenburg County as a whole, uh, and even farther into the Lake region, uh, including Iredell County, Lincoln uh, County, and others. Uh, my name is Justin Dion. I'm the executive director for the Kane Center for the Arts. Uh, it means a lot to have you all here today. I made a joke earlier that uh, that I'm, I'm doing church services today. Um, we've had an 8 a.m., a 9 a.m., you guys are 10, and we got a, one more at 11 a.m. Uh, for these. So we thank you for coming. We thank you for, for um, uh, helping us to make sure that we set uh, the example for how we think events like this can still happen uh, under the current you know guidelines that we are under. So thank you for helping us with that and for following those guidelines with us uh, for this event. Uh, uh, this really is today is is symbolic. Obviously, uh, these uh, buildings here are going to start coming down, uh, which is very exciting. Uh, but you know, uh, an event like this is also about transformation. Uh, and so it's not just about these buildings coming down, that's what you'll see today, but it's about the longer vision of what's going to come up afterward. Uh, and, and we hope if you haven't already seen the renderings, a lot of with our project either as a volunteer from for many years. Some people here have been with this project for, gosh, eight, eight years or, or so, maybe even longer now if you look at the original visioning for it. Um, a lot of you here are donors, and we thank you so much uh, for everything you've done for us. Uh, so far. And, uh, and, and if you're here and uh, you have made a pledge, thank you. If you're here and you've bought a brick, thank you. If you're here and you haven't yet, uh, we encourage you to consider it. This, like I said, that transformation is now, and this is that sprint to the finish. Uh, we have raised over $17.25 million toward this project, uh, and which has never been done at a level like this, a scope like this, a project of this scope in this area is this is the first time so we're all making history but we still have a ways to go we still have we have that final finish that final sprint we have about seven and a half million dollars left to finish and so we ask you to please help us tell your friends buy a brick if you haven't yet make a pledge if you haven't yet there is information on the table on the way out you can grab as well um, so with that I'm gonna step down and thank you all one more time and I'm gonna introduce uh, our mayor uh, of Cornelius, and also a founding board member of the Kane Center for the Arts, uh, Mayor Woody Washam. You don't have to stand on that if you don't want to. I don't think I'm going to crawl up on the stage today if it's okay with y'all. But thank y'all so much for being here today. This is such a big day on behalf of our town and also the Kane Center for the Arts. We've come a long way, and you know, really, this is the, the very special day that we've all been waiting for. We really did not uh, plan this major pandemic going on. Uh, we, we hope to have a huge event out here with, uh, you know, 500 people and uh, just, just an extravaganza with fireworks going off and all that kind of stuff. But the times just simply don't allow that. But, uh, but here we are. And, uh, you know, I just want you to know that it's such an honor for me to stand here today as your mayor uh, many of us have worked so hard to get us to this point and uh, and it's just a it's just an extreme honor for me to serve in that capacity at this time and you know although I've lived here all my life uh, these blue buildings uh, somebody asked me a little bit ago well how long have they been been there well they've been there most of my life probably not all of it but but certainly most of it but, you know, the rest of the story is I think they've probably been there about long enough, don't y'all? <laughs> so I don't believe I'm going to miss them, and I'm sure many of you won't as well, based on what's getting ready to rise right here at this site. Uh, once the, uh, the center is up and running and open and this, this beautiful site transformed, I know you know and I know as well that this town will never be the same. It absolutely will never be the same. Our region will never be the same. This is truly a regional project. Uh, Mayor Rusty Knox was at an earlier session of this and I see Mayor John Anarella here today. So this truly represents a, an attempt by the Kane Center board and the town of Cornelius to turn this in to a regional project which will serve this community for many years to come. 
the actual economic impact of this uh, facility, I can't, uh, I can't leave without talking about that, will be transformational to this, to this town and really to this region. When you put a $25 million center right here in the heart of the region, really, it's going to make a difference. It already has made a difference. The day we announced this center, things started happening in, in uh, Old Town, downtown Cornelius, and they continue to happen to this day. You know, as we, uh, read, as we develop this, what I call a mega arts uh, center and arts district for a town, we all know that it's going to reach for miles and miles around. Once you add up the population of a 25 mile, only 25 mile radius to this site, you're probably going to encompass close to uh, 300,000 people, right, Justin? A lot of people here that will use this center and, and benefit by it. Just think back, you know, well, along the way, I was honored to, as a couple of us were, to make our way down and spend some time with uh, Mr. Hugh McCall. Many of you recognize that name, I think. Um, th that was one of one of the highlights for me of this entire campaign was getting to, as a banker, getting to spend time with Hugh McCall. Totally supportive of this project. And another project that he was totally supportive of was the Blumenthal Center in downtown Charlotte. And I think you know, I'm not trying to compare the Kane Center and our 400-seat theater and all that to the beautiful Blumenthal Theater, but that was transformational for downtown Charlotte. This will be transformational for this region and this town as well. So we do have a little bit of a comparison going in that regard, uh, too. The Kane Center is truly on the leading edge of uh, providing something totally unique to this area and that is we are a public private uh, in a public private process that I don't think the likes has ever been seen just like we're doing it here in this area the towns invested the communities invested the regions invested our entire area is invested from Mooresville down to Huntersville and that's a that's a got a good feeling to me and I really want to congratulate those that have worked so hard in, in that regard. And that includes our town staff, our town board. All of our town board will be present at one of these uh, sessions today. I see a couple of them out there today. Uh, and uh, certainly, we had so many subgroups that have been working so hard, hours and hours, on different aspects of this project. One in particular is, a, is something we call the Mayor's Task Group, which is putting together the operational arrangements between the town and the Kane Center. That's going so well. The Construction Committee, the Architects Committee, the Finance Committee, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. The Marketing Committee, I mean, it's, uh, it's been an incredible amount of participation by our by our uh, citizens here in this area. Now, you know, the staff of this Kane Center has done a, a tremendous job, too, and I don't want to miss the opportunity to thank Justin and his staff for the great hard work that they've done to bring us to this point. And last but not least, our many donors, many of you in this room, starting with uh, Bill and Erica Kane. They kicked this thing off. We, we, they did. They kicked this off. And we wouldn't be here today if it weren't for them. But there are others. Catherine Keel. I don't know that Catherine's at this session, but she'll be here at another one. The Cashins. The Cashins are here today. Thank you. I know Robert would be proud, Louise. So, but... Uh, Great, great original Cornelius family stepping up and helping us out here. The Griffins, uh, Mike's over here representing the family and there's, there's other members of the family. But so many have, have stepped up to do the right thing to help this get underway. Uh, and last but not least, you know, well, a couple more thanks I want to pass out, but certainly the voters of this town back in 2013 which was the first year i ran for office we passed a four million dollar bond it was a major major win for this area it didn't pass by just a little bit it passed by a lot as it relates to bonds uh bond votes and things of that nature and that really gave us the impetus to move forward 
Uh, and then I want to pass a, a sincere thanks on to Mecklenburg County Manager Dina Dioria and the entire Mecklenburg County Board. Several of them's here. Pat Cotham is right in front of, of me here today. And um, who am I missing back there? Hey, Dina. <laughs> thank you and welcome. But thank you all for your hard work. As uh, uh, Chairman George Dunlap said earlier, you don't see a unanimous vote by that county commission on much. But the vote to give this, this effort a million dollars uh, a few months ago was unanimous. So we're real proud of that. And, uh, you know, we might see you again sometime down the road. <laughs> but thank you all for your efforts and the support of the county. We really, really appreciate your confidence. But, Pat, I think you've been with us from the beginning, haven't you, on our original task force, and you've helped us work through that whole process. So here we are on this great day. No, we're not quite there in our fundraising. We've got a little little bit more of a journey, as you heard earlier from Justin, to travel. Uh, many of you here today have supported this, this concept and this project uh, early on, and you continue to support it. You know, most of you were there with your time, your talent, and certainly your money. And that part of it is what's going to bring us to the finish line. So... I guess I'd ask all of you, it would um, be a shock to many of you, particularly Ms. Cashin over here, if I didn't ask you to dig a little deeper and anything else you can do to help us on our way through this great journey would be would be wonderful. So please, uh, if you, as Justin said, if you haven't donated, you can sign up here today right at the table up front. Uh, you can sign up as a founder. You can buy a brick. And it's, it's something that you will really, really feel good about and want to do for years to come, uh, honoring your family members, honoring your business, uh, just denoting yourself as a supporter of this project with a brick at this new Kane Center on our beautiful plaza, which will, uh, will serve our citizens well, our outdoor plaza. And if you act quick enough, you might could get a brick. There's a very limited number of bricks on the inside. But I will tell you, that they're going fast. Uh, somebody told me a minute ago, Gene Brock, who heads up our brick campaign, told me that we had surpassed something like uh, $20,000 already in September, and it's September the 10th. So they're going fast, and that's a, that's a good problem. So get, get on the stick and buy those bricks. So thank you again for being here today. Thank you for your support. We certainly ask ask God's blessings on this project. We ask uh, uh, God's blessings on our on our town, on our state, and certainly our country. Thanks again, and have a great day. And let me introduce the fabulous chairman of the board of the Kane Center of the Arts. Greg Wessling has been with us since day one of this project. He was appointed to our original mayor's committee many years ago, and he's still with us as chairman of the board. Done a great job. Greg Wessling. Thank you very much, Rick. Appreciate that. Well, I'm probably more comfortable than you are right now because I got to take this off. <laughs> so it's probably been six months since we've seen each other in person. We've seen each other on Zoom or Facebook or FaceTime or WebEx or what have you, but it's really nice to see all of you in person, and we thank you for being here. I've always said that Mayor Washam was thorough. As a matter of fact, he was so thorough, I don't really have anything else to add, <laughs> except to tell you that as I, as I look around here and I see all of you and I look at, at what you've done, what you know our board several of our board members are here thank you uh they're always here they're always working uh i see volunteers here thank you you're always here and you're always working uh i see donors i think of you as investors because you took a a big leap of faith with us when we started with the four million dollar bond that woody mentioned and we've now turned this into I'm going to round up going on 18 million dollars and you know that's that's great and Pat and Donna Dina we, we we thank the county we thank everybody as Woody said but the other side of it is we've got almost eight million to go and and we're going to have to dig deep we're going to have to figure that one out probably some of us are going to have to 
re reassign ourselves and step up further uh, we're also going to have to get our friends and neighbors to get involved and the best way to do that is buy a brick you know it's a it's a smaller investment but it's a start you know about 20 percent of us have re-upped and what I mean by that is we started with an amount that we pledged this was before the brick campaign and then we said you know what I think we can give a little more 20 percent of our donors have done that the average in a capital campaign like this is two percent so Woody you're right to say that that everybody hasn't gotten involved with this project all of you have and we really appreciate that if you haven't bought a brick uh, Jean's here today she chairs that portion of our campaign and she definitely is available to sell you a brick and uh, y you know if uh, if you'd like to make a pledge we can certainly handle that too Allison is here she heads that up and she'll be glad to do that and if she's busy I'll be glad to give you a hand so <laughs> we'd, we'd love to have you do that but now we need your help in a different way we got to get some friends involved we got to get some neighbors involved we got to get some other folks involved that that haven't done what you've already done and we solicit your help to do that. On behalf of our board, it's a real honor for us to be here. It's a real honor for this day to have occurred. Uh, as it was said earlier, it, this is not what we expected. This is not the way we had in mind doing this, but, but it's just as meaningful, just as important because these blue buildings are coming down. With that, it's my honor to introduce you formally to Bill and Erica Kane. Thank you, Greg. You know, everything's been said that I could possibly say here this morning, so I would like to thank one group. Well, two groups, really. I'd like to thank all of you who are donors. That's what makes this possible. You know, I, I know many of you have thanked us for what we've done, but let me tell you, what we've done has just been a part of what you've done. And for you to come up and, and bring this to a finish line is so very important. So thank you for what you've done. I feel like I'm in a church taking up collection again, but uh, we need to take up a collection, I guess, but thank you for that. The other thank you I wanna give you, Eric and I get a lot of uh, accolades and, and we did not give the money for that reason, I promise you. But I want you to think about something you may not have thought of. That is, our children have made a donation. Mike and Carolina here, Mike Mullen, who, who is uh, our son-in-law, and Carolina, our daughter. And uh, before we did this, we talked to our children and said, this is what we're thinking about your inheritance. And every one of them, every one of them, not only said do it, but were enthusiastic about it, and they have all given more since then. So uh, it's been a... It's, it's been a joint effort, I, I promise you. Uh, I also found out something new today that I didn't know. Pat, Pat Cothran is a cane. Cousin Kane here, <laughs> who is also a part of this, and, and we thank you for what you've done. But that's really all I want to say is thank you for all you've done, and we appreciate every one of you. Say anything? No? Nope. All right. Thank y'all. All right, thank you so much, Mr. and Mrs. Kane. Again, thank you all for being here today. Uh, we got one more piece, which is, of course, to watch some of these blue buildings come down. And uh, the guy who's going to do that uh, is Mr. Mike Griffin over here. Uh, the Griffin family has given an in-kind donation of the demolition that you're going to be seeing over the next several months here. So thank you to them um, for that. He's going to tear some blue buildings down. After he finishes, stay where you are. We're going to try to take a big group picture socially distance and then uh, also on your way out stop by the hot dog cart Kane Center for the Arts is buying everyone hot dogs today so stop by and grab yourself a hot dog